Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today, I want to show you how you can actually either upgrade or downgrade the DJI Phantom 4. Next to that, I want to show you how you can upgrade the batteries, the spare batteries of the DJI Phantom 4. It is pretty simple and I will show you how to get that done with your computer and not with the Go app because um, actually using the Go app for upgrading is not recommended by DJI and I tested it myself and had some minor problems and that is why I think the um, computer is the safer choice. Enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe right now to never ever miss an upcoming episode again. Stay tuned, fly safe. <laughs> To check whether a new firmware update is available or not, we want to take a look at the DJI GO app. Make sure to connect your mobile device to a Wi-Fi source and power your Phantom as well. Once we open the DJI GO app, we want to remain at the start screen before we enter the live view. Usually a red bar pops up once a new update is available, but don't worry if it doesn't. Enter the live view and open up the aircraft status menu by tapping at the colored flight status bar at the top. The overall status displays firmware upgrade required once a new update is available. Before we perform the update, we want to make sure we are prepared. We need our Phantom, all its batteries, a micro SD card with at least 100 megabytes of available space inserted into the Phantom. Next, we need the remote control, a mobile device, a computer or laptop with internet access, and the USB to micro USB cable that was included with delivery. And if you can't find that cable, you can use most Android charging cables as well. Finally, we want to make sure that all of our batteries and the remote control are at least 50% charged to ensure a safe updating process. One final hint, never ever have the propellers installed to the Phantom during the updating process. Let's get started. Download the DJI Assistant 2 software. A link can be found in the video description. Microsoft users click at EXE, while Mac users tap at DMG to download the software. Once the file is downloaded, we click at it to start the installation. Choose your language and press next. Again next, next and install. If the computer asks if you would like to install a driver for the Phantom 4, go ahead and click yes. Again choose your language and press ok, next next, next, and install. Press finish. Make sure to select Launch DJI Assistant 2 and click finish again, otherwise you can open the software by double clicking at its icon. If you're using the Assistant 2 software for the very first time, you have to log in using your DJI account email address and password. Tap at sign in. Now plug the micro USB side of the cable into the Phantom's USB port and connect the other end with the USB port of your computer. Now turn on the Phantom. Select the Phantom 4. We can now decide whether we want to upgrade or downgrade the copter. The procedure is the same. If we don't like a new update or experience any problems, we could always come back here and downgrade again. I'm going to do an update and therefore click at upgrade. Next I click at start upgrade. Wait until your computer has downloaded the firmware. The update will start automatically after the download has finished and takes up to 20 minutes. Don't be afraid if your Phantom's LEDs flash like a Christmas tree or if the camera moves around or if the copter even reboots. That is completely normal and part of the updating process. Once the update is finished, we turn the Phantom off and unplug all cables.
After updating the aircraft and the first battery, we now want to update our spare batteries. Remove the first battery and replace it with one of your spare batteries. Connect the Phantom just as you normally would with the remote controller and turn it on. Wait a few seconds. Once the copter is connected with the remote controller, a pop-up will notify us that an inconsistent firmware was detected. Follow the blue bar and slide to update. The updating process is going to take maximum 5 minutes. Of course, we will be notified once the update is completed. Repeat this procedure with every single spare battery. There is a final information that I don't want to hold back. It is absolutely recommended to calibrate your Phantom's IMU after a new firmware update to ensure a safe flight without any errors. A link should pop up right now and if you can't click it, you will find the link pointing at my tutorial in the video description. Thank you guys for watching this awesome episode of mine. I hope it was helpful and if it was, feel free to leave a thumb up and feel free to subscribe. And next to that, if you want to show your support, you can of course visit tomstechtime.com slash donate and leave a PayPal donation. That way I can continue shooting awesome tutorials like that one. Next to that, you can join my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash tomstechtime. And you can join the most awesome drone community on that pretty globe we're having. And uh, next to that, if you want to support my work without spending a dime, I mean like not spending a dime in my direction, you could check out Tom's Tech Time. I'm confused. It was tomstechtime.com slash deals and you can purchase your gear through my link and I will get a small commission and you won't have to pay a dime more. Wow. It was a warm day. That was me, Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Over and out, stay tuned. Fly safe.